Hey everybody, Scott Detweiler here with another Capture One tutorial. And today I wanted to talk about whitening teeth in Capture One. This is something that can be done pretty easily and I have a couple different methods for doing so and I wanted to share those with you. Oftentimes if you can do these types of operations, perhaps you don't even have to go into Photoshop to generate things like proofs or in-person sales images and so on. Uh, and if you can skip that step, that obviously speeds up your workflow. So I kind of wanted to talk about some of that today and how I do it. It's very easy to do, and there are a couple different options depending on your mindset. Uh, so I have this image here that I downloaded uh, from a website. I will link below. You can download the raw image and actually work on it if you'd like, or use one of your own. Uh, we're going to use this mo poor model here who has a booger in her nose, and now she's immortalized forever on this stock site, so poor girl. <laughs> so we're going to zoom past that and get to her teeth. All right, so... Um, what we want to always do first is uh, we're going to create a mask. So I'm just going to create a new layer, hit B for brush, and I'm just going to kind of quickly uh, just highlight the teeth. So if I hit M for mask to see what I have, it's this this uh, lovely image here. And if you wanted to, to you know, go back and perfect this mask a bit, you could. But the, the methods we're going to use here don't really re rely on the mask being very accurate, which is another reason why I like it, because if we have to do a very accurate mask, the edges of the mask and having to take the time to do the mask make it almost not worth doing it here and just doing it in Photoshop to begin with. So once we have the mask on a separate layer, there's two methods for doing this. This is a very quick video, by the way, and both methods are completely valid. Uh, but I wanted to get this out there because this is something I do fairly often, uh, so I don't have to go into Photoshop. And I thought I would just kind of pass this on. Uh, so the first thing I would like to do is use the color balance tool. I find this one to be really easy. And what we're, what we're doing now is we're not whitening the teeth. We're actually removing yellow or desaturating the yellow. That's really the goal here. And the result will be the same. So in order to get rid of the yellow here, um, I'm going to pick the highlight and the color balance tool. And I'm going to drag it toward blue. And what that will do is cause the yellow to come out. Um, so there's a lot of leeway here for wiggling around to get the right shade. But... Uh, something like that. And when we get it where we want it, we can adjust it using this slider uh, so we don't actually go to either side because you could end up with too green or too pink, uh, depending on what you want. And just try and find the eyeball for where this wants to be. And you could probably say this as a preset. You would do that up here. And then uh, at the bottom, you could save it as a user preset. But I think that uh, each image is a little bit different. And to try and make a preset that accounts for all these um, might be wishful thinking. Uh, so by using this, you can adjust basically how strong you want the effect to be. And we don't really ever have to whiten the teeth, which is what this slider would do. I think that looks fake. So I'm going to double click on that. So all we did really is if you hold down your alt key and click on this little arrow here, we can temporarily reset. You can see the before and after on the teeth. And you can see that mask really didn't matter much uh, for what we were trying to do. Okay, so that's one method to do this. The other method is to use the color editor. So the color editor is probably the more normal way to do this. Uh, you would use the advanced tab on the color editor, click on that, and then just grab the tooth, and it will kind of set its range for that area. And uh, we can actually view the selected color range here. And you can see it's kind of just hitting the teeth, but it's also that whole range, the face is actually falling into that range as well which is why having a mask going into this makes this a lot easier on you. And what we want to do is basically just desaturate. So we just, again, pull down on this. Um, I don't like this as much because you see we do have a little yellow ledge that is formed here. And we have to play with this span here and the softness or the transition between it and the surrounding colors in order to get what we want. And it's not, again, hard, uh, but there we go. So we're basically just desaturating the yellow from this set versus using the color balance tool. Uh, so before and after on that. So two completely different methods uh, with two results um, and very similar tools, uh, although I don't really, again, I don't lighten teeth when I remove the yellow from them. Uh, so in either case, this is on its own layer. So you can, again, back it down depending on whatever method you chose until you're happy with it. Anything, it looks good. And our poor, our poor girl with the thing in her nose now has white teeth. So there you go. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, leave any comments below. And if you do me a favor and click the like button, I would greatly appreciate it. And I will catch you next time.